Hey everybody, it's Kathy from The Pharmacy and Four Roots, and today we are here at our test kitchen in Orlando. We have an exciting day planned. We're gonna be shooting a recipe with um, Chef Lord Fur from Kaya Restaurant here in Orlando, and he's gonna whip up an amazing recipe using some locally grown broccoli, some radishes, and some other cool stuff. So if you guys come join us, we'll get started on that recipe right now. All right. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> hey, good. So we are here with Chef Lord Fur, and he's got some really cool stuff that he's going to do for us today. Tell us a little bit about who you are and what you got going on. Okay, so uh, my name is Lord Fur, uh, Lalacon. So I'm opening a Filipino restaurant called Kaya. Filipino food is so uh, uh, maybe unrepresented. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of our journey to discover like Filipino-American food, indigenous food, and our history. We will definitely have to go check that place out. So um, Chef over here is preparing some of our produce. I just want to point out to you guys what we have coming in for this week. Broccoli is coming in heavy from a lot of our local farms, including Barefoot Farmer, Ever Oak Farm. So we're featuring some of this baby broccoli here. We've got spring mix from Frog Song Organics. We've got these beautiful purple pansies that are from Four Roots Farm Campus that's in downtown Orlando. They also have provided us with the yellow pansies, so pretty. The pink dianthus. I've got lemon thyme, fresh lemon thyme. And then also from Ever Oak Farm, we've got these really nice turnips. And then there was the black radishes that are Spanish radishes that are something I've actually never seen till today and gonna use as many fresh local things to make a really simple recipe that's easy for basically anyone to make, right? Yeah, really easy. So typically, uh, when you talk about adobo, any Filipino, they'll make adobo chicken and right. cook it with vinegar, black peppercorns, uh, some bay leaf, and some soy, and they'll just leave it on the table and you eat it with rice. But I think uh, adobo is more of a technique uh, than anything, so I'm gonna do adobo broccoli. And we're basically gonna blanch um, the broccoli florets with like vinegar and water mm -hmm. and black peppercorns and some bay leaf and then make a uh, adobo sauce. Sounds delicious. <laughs> Ho hopefully. I'm sure it will be. You know, with nice broccoli, especially local broccoli that's growing like this, you can really like use the whole thing. You actually peel your turnips? I, l I think it's, it's a little bit nicer. Makes it a little more tender, right? When it makes it a little more them. tender. Yeah. Makes it, you know, you eat with your eyes first. That it's, looks amazing. It's beautiful. Yeah. So basically, I have this like pot of water that I have here. So I'm just gonna eye it, but for two quarts of water, you could use like uh, about a, a cup of vinegar. Atu Puti Us is a, is a well-known brand in the Philippines, but our vinegar is coconut vinegar. Oh. Yeah. So this is all over our food. Because we're island culture, adobo is different for every family. You know, there's 7,000 islands in the Philippines. Wow. Yeah. You know, like a, a lot of Filipinos will say, like, my mom's adobo is the best. And, <laughs> like, and like you go to a, a Filipino restaurant and some Filipinos are just like, oh, this is not my mom's adobo. <laughs> I'm just going to blanch this. These are really nice. So they probably don't need, need that long of blanching. So I just uh, cooked it for two minutes and then tasted it and make sure it's still crunchy. Uh, just use the ice fat to cool it down so it doesn't overcook. Usually, I found that lo the local broccoli gets like even more green. It yeah. just like makes it more vibrant. You know, that's why it's so important to use local ingredients. So I, I have I have my like little base broth that has a little bit of vinegar in it. I have my garlic. Mm -hmm. I have everything kind of ready to go. The next thing I want to do is uh, here's some water, and what I'm going to do is take uh, some cornstarch and just make a traditional slurry. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to saute the broccoli stems. This is flavor in here. I don't want to cook this too much. So I'll just go ahead and add a liquid. I think I just got to be careful if you put too much oil that it doesn't splatter everywhere. So I just do it against, away from me. Mm. You know, you have the vinegar flavor, you have your soy sauce. You can start adding the thyme in there just a little bit to give it some lemoniness. And then now this is where I'll add my uh, the slurry. And this is just so that it, it, it stays on the vegetables. It's really amazing how local produce stays green. All you gotta do, bang. So 
really looks and smells amazing, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> the turnips give it a little contrast. We'll put a, a mm -hmm. nice little salad on here too. You know, when you have great greens like this, you don't, you don't really need to do much, you know? So I hope, you know, at the Filipino restaurant that we're gonna open, it's gonna be like very vegetable focused, very mm -hmm. fish focused. Filipinos are known for hospitality and a good time. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have a lot of fiestas. I gotta put the pink for my daughter. Yeah, edible flowers are super fun for kids yeah. until you teach them that it's cool to eat flowers and then they think that they can just eat any flower. <laughs> yeah. So in a way, this is like a, a warm adobo salad. And there you go. Awesome. That looks so beautiful. And this is 100% locally sourced and it's vegan. And yes, vegan, everything. Yeah, it's oh vegan, my gosh. Yeah. Can I give it a try? Yeah, of course. Yay, let me grab a grab it for it. Hopefully. You try, try it with me. Yeah, all right. <laughs> okay. Do I, should I eat the broccoli and turnip at the same yeah, time? Yeah, you can eat you can okay. eat that whatever. There's way no you wrong want. way to eat it. No what are we talking about? Mm. It's warming my soul right now. Go. So good. The great thing is whenever you have amazing ingredients. You don't have to do anything crazy to make it taste amazing. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Well, this was such a treat um, for us to get to see and taste and experience like all of this locally grown stuff well, it's my, in the my hands pleasure. of a pro. <laughs> um, we're going to be having broccoli available at our farmer's markets, hopefully for the next month or so. Cool. Um, it's available online for ordering with our Pharmacy Now website, so you can get this broccoli like to demand to your door. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, within an hour, um, which is awesome. Local farmers, of course, appreciate all of the support. I mean, just this right here is like four different farms all in one. So um, we appreciate you making it look so beautiful. Oh, and no thank problem. you so much again for coming to show us everything. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I hope that everybody who's watching, you guys can tune in and come try this at home. Just a super, super simple recipe um, that pretty much anybody should be able to make. So again, thank you. And you guys, bon appetit. <laughs> bon appetit. We say ka na. That means it's time to eat. Ka na. It's time to eat. Let's eat.